Hello there and welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Daphne and we are doing our spring 2023 front porch makeover. I'm just giving you a view of how everything is blooming in my front yard. These trees are absolutely beautiful. Um, although I haven't done my cleanup yet, I just wanted to show you these beds. I have sand cherries, euonymus, and also some tulips planted along with the juniper trees at the front. So this is how the porch looked um, at the end of Easter. We decorated for Easter a couple of weeks ago and today we're gonna be totally redoing it for spring and I'm so excited to be able to share it with you guys. So I hope that you enjoy this video. I just love this new blower that I picked up during the fall. It works perfectly, it's lightweight, it's uh, battery operated, so it's easy for me to be able to get around. Um, the other one that I have is a corded um, blower, so it's a little more cumbersome to be able to you know, get into these tight spaces, so I'm just so happy that I'm able to utilize this battery powered um, blower this time. If this is your first time by, I just want to welcome you to my channel and I also want to welcome back all of my loyal subscribers. Um, if you are enjoying this video, I really would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. And if this is your first time by and you're not already a subscriber, I hope that you enjoy this video enough to subscribe and come back here for another video.
Now as you can see I haven't cut the grass yet and then you can see that there's like moss and like grass growing in the cracks on the paver so we have to make sure that we handle that. I usually use a non-chemical um, application. Um, I shared a short, um, I think about a month or so ago. I use um, distilled vinegar, dish soap, and salt and I mix it all together and I spray it down um, on the grass and any type of weeds and then I wait about 24 to 36 hours and then you're just able to pull out um, everything that has dried up but it works so well so if you guys haven't tried it I definitely would suggest you trying it so this is me the next day just pulling out all of the grass and weeds after the spray was able to work on them overnight I'm so glad yesterday it was a little you know rainy so I wasn't able to cut the grass so we're just getting everything prepped and I decided that I was just going to use the push mower here in the front my yard is very small um, when it's cooler weather I like to just utilize the push um, mower just because it's just easier I don't have to plug in um, the electric one and especially because the space is so small so it just works so well out front So I just wanted to quickly share my color palette for the front porch. It is more of like greens and pinks, mauves. Um, I just wanted to show you this unfinished plaque. I was working on doing a mixture of colors so that I can really bring out the wreath. And I was able to get two colors that I already had. Um, one is an apple barrel neon purple. And the other one is a top notch matte and that was blush mauve and I did about maybe two thirds of the blush mauve and one third of the neon purple to be able to match the color. I just think that it's the perfect match and it's going to look so nice on this um, little hello spring sign and i'm just going to get started i'm just going to lay out some newspaper and we're going to give it a couple of coats of paint so i just wanted to let you know the uh, reef was purchased at home goods and the rug the flag and the plaque was purchased at joanne's
So now that we have the porch all cleared off, we're just drawing our water. We're just going to be washing everything down um, with a little water and dish soap and really making it sparkle. So I picked up these amazing Boston Fern plants at Lowe's. I got them for $7 each. I don't know, they were supposed to be two for 24, but when I checked my receipt, they were charged $7 each. So I am so excited. I'm just taking off the hanging um, supports and I'm gonna pop it into this planter. The planter is a, another home goods find um, from last year, so I'm just reusing them again here on the porch. This is my first time using these Boston uh, ferns. They look absolutely amazing. Um, I think about two years ago, I used a tassel fern, but it did not make as much impact as these Boston ferns. I'm so glad I was able to get my hands on them. You might remember these uh, Kirkland dupe lanterns that I created a couple of Christmases ago. They are still doing amazing and I absolutely love them. So if you remember last spring, we did more of a peachy pink magnolia reef, exactly the same as this. So I was super excited when I was able to find this mauvey purple color this year. And I love the way that it looks. Okay, so you know when I start putting on the flag, we are at the end of the makeover. I am so excited with how the front porch looks. So until the next time, I hope that you guys have an amazing weekend, a blessed time with your family. We're just gonna take a look back at the before and then we're gonna go directly into the after. So until the next time, have a blessed day.